Well, hello there. This is Vitual the Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. Now, those of you with the chestnut boards, the Air, the Air Plus or the Pro, you know that it works extremely well with chess.com, but you need to connect it generally through the chestnut app, either on Android or iOS, maybe on Windows. And the default chestnut app is just it's fine, but it's not very good. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit clunky. Well, one of the strengths of the Chestnut platform is that it allows third-party software developers. And, um, and I recently discovered Chess Connect, which is an extension for the Chrome browser that allows a board to connect to chess.com. And this has rapidly become my default way of using the board with chess.com. It just works so well. Everything on chess.com works with it, including tournaments, which was something that didn't work properly with the default app. Uh, and it is really surprising to me just how simple it works. It almost has no options and it's practically flawless. So, where do you find this app? Well, I'm going to show you. It is an extension to the Chrome browser. So it works on Windows or on uh, Mac OS. So if you go to so just the uh, Google, you know, Google.com, um, the way to get the extension is you need to go to the extension, the Chrome extension store or the web store. And basically go to the, the three dots, extensions, visit Chrome web store, there we are, and here we go. Search for Chess Connect. There we are, Chess Connect. There it is, Add to Chrome. Just click on the button. It really is that simple. Add extension, wait for it. It's now there. And if you have a look at the extension, there we go, look at the, the options, you only have three options. Really simple. So on the opponent's move, do you want to beep? So I spoke to the um, the developer of this app, uh, that's Jörn Gehring, uh, and uh, that, uh, there'll be a very short clip at the end of this video where I speak to him and I've got a full uh, separate video where I do a bit of an interview. So he liked playing the board where uh, there was an audio indication that the opponent had made a move. So the options, you can have a beep, you can have uh, the computer uh, no, say the move or to stay silent. I personally prefer it to say silent, but he liked the beep, so that's the default. Move latency. This is one of the basically missing features in the standard Chestnut app. Because a board is so sensitive, when you slide pieces, sometimes if you slide a piece to a square that's a legal move before your actual uh, destination square, the board sometimes picks up that move as the uh, as a planned move, and it moves the piece to that square. And I got caught out at the beginning when I started using like, the chestnut boards, particularly in end games where you're sliding rooks and queens, can <laughs> be absolutely disastrous. Um, I've gotten a little bit used to just picking up and placing down, but this allows you to slide pieces again. You can set a delay, 750 uh, milliseconds, definitely should work for slides. Now I slide quite quickly, so I probably would personally set that to a slightly lower value, like 250 milliseconds, uh, and just a hotkey as well. Now let's go back to the chess.com uh, site. There we are. Now I'll just need to refresh that because I just installed the extension, and that's where the button is, and basically once you click that button with, uh, with your board next to your computer on, it will connect via Bluetooth Low Energy. Now here is a bit where uh, on a Windows machine or a Mac OS machine, your device, your computer will need to support Bluetooth uh, Low Energy. Now generally if your computer is sort of within the last 5 or 10 years, it probably will. Uh, now on the uh, Windows side of things, so I only use Windows, I don't have Mac, the way to check whether or not your computer supports Bluetooth LE is to have a look at the device manager. So I'm just going to quickly show that. So here we go, uh, device manager, let's move this over, there we go, see Bluetooth here, there we are, 
Microsoft Bluetooth LE enumerator. That's how you know whether your, your computer on Windows supports Bluetooth LE. Generally, if your computer supports Bluetooth 4 and above, it will include Bluetooth LE. Now let's go back here. Let's load this up now on my Chestnut Pro and see this in action. All right, so let's turn on the Chestnut Pro, hold down the on button. You can see green is on, flashing blue means waiting to connect by Bluetooth. I'm now just going to connect by pressing the connect button. Scanning, you can see, you can detect the chestnut. Pair, you can see, blue means it's connected. And you can see he connected. So I'm going to load up a uh, just a game of, oh, let's say, uh, against the bot, computer. There we are. Let, let's play against this new bot, uh, Carlos. Okay, we'll just uh, reconnect again. Probably just took a little bit too long. Here we go. Here. Choose. I'll play white. Brilliant. So, E4. And you can see... You can see the delay and it gave a beep. Now let's change one of the settings uh, so that it's not a, so it's not a beep. Uh, oh, how am I going to do this? That's that. Here we go. I'm just going to options. Let's make that say the move. Let's see what happens there. Okay. Let's see what happens. Knight to F6. Did you see that? Now saying the move. Now, I personally prefer uh, it to not give a verbal audio response. So let's go back here. Options. I'm going to say stay quiet. And I'm actually going to set the move latency to 250 because even when I slide my pieces usually I slide it a little bit more quickly so save there we go I'm just gonna put it back to full screen let's go F11 there we are and uh, let's play <laughs> very good ah oh. and it just works so so well I, I i just really really like it what's that bishop doing okay hmm what will i do there we go Yeah, and look, I'm not going to continue the game, uh, but it just works amazing. Uh, and because I normally have the board next to my computer, it's in my study basically, this is just a way that I can connect without having to fiddle with the app, without having to set up my phone. Absolutely brilliant. So Chess Connect extension you should definitely get it if you uh, if you're playing Chestercom and your Chestnut Air or Pro is set up next to a Windows or Mac OS computer. Now, I was lucky enough to get in contact with the uh, with the author of the Chess Connect extension. That's uh, Jörn Göring. And uh, he was happy to do a quick interview uh, with me. So I'm just going to give a short, uh, short snapshot here in this video with a full interview in a separate video. Uh, and you know, one of the questions I asked uh, Jörn was um, what led him to create this uh, absolutely wonderful bit of software. Uh, as you know, it comes with an, some software, with an, with an Android app, in my case, which I've been using, and this app works pretty well. Uh, except for 
live tournaments on chess.com. Um, yeah. There was a problem there. I'm not actually sure if this problem still exists, but it did then. It was uh, after one or at most two rounds of the tournament, always got disqualified. Mm -hmm. And that's very annoying and disappointing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I reached out for help. I looked into the forums, I asked questions, I contacted chess.com, I contacted chessnut and got some help, but wasn't really able to get to the bottom of the problem. So I decided to dig a little bit deeper. Um, I am a software developer, so I decided to try to write my own extension. Just, just give it a go. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Thank you uh, so very much for that. Watch a full interview uh, in the se second video. Have a good day.